All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's discuss. Now, this year in particular, I was not very invested into the Grammys. Like, I, I, to be honest, I completely forgot they were even on. I got an ad for the Grammys while I was scrolling TikTok, and I was like, oh, shit, that's today. Nothing really interests me too much. I didn't have, like, any kind of watch party like I did last year or anything like that. I just, I recorded it, to be honest, and then I watched it after I watched The Last of Us. I'm so much more invested in The Last of Us, which, by the way, I have recaps on the second channel. If y'all guys want to follow along on The Last of Us journey, I've played the game, like, seven times, so I'm just giving my thoughts of someone who basically has the game memorized. My thoughts on the series are going to be comparison thoughts to my thoughts of the video game. If y'all want to check that out, second link in the description for the second channel. I lied. Third link in the description for the second channel but if you want to follow on twitch the second link anyway let's talk about some of the pros first first and foremost obviously they finally brought the fucking rap album of the year into the main show i was so pissed last year when it wasn't in the main show i, I was like this is how this is how detached from reality the academy is when it comes to music nominations the biggest genre in the world rap hip-hop wasn't even in the main show until this year long overdue happy to see it happy that kendrick won he deserved to win all the albums i'm lying not all the albums really just two albums kendrick and pusha those are the only ones that i would consider grammy worthy come home the kids miss you i'm a fan of jack harlow but if it was a black dude that put that album out wouldn't even be on the grammy list god did dj khaled probably my favorite dj khaled album since i don't major key maybe everything since major key up until this album has been mid and even this album has a couple of misses but the songs that are strong are strong as hell and then while we're on hip-hop obviously the 50 years of hip-hop was super tight it's, it's crazy to see how far hip-hop has come and it's also crazy to think about all the old heads that are like, hey, uh, hip hop was, you know, back in my day, we had real music. And then you hear the flows of hip hop in the 80s and you're like, the rappers today are so much better. It's so much more entertaining. But I'm also about to approach my mid 30s this year. So I definitely understand the place that 80s hip hop had, regardless of how quote unquote boring the flows are how like i went to the store on my bike uh -huh, uh -huh. like that type of shit i get that we had to start somewhere we had to start somewhere and i'm never gonna disrespect the icons in the game but come on come on rap today is just so much better cadence flow wise instrumental wise like everything about it there might have been more to talk about back then in terms of like societal impact and disrupting the peace and all of that but rap today is better also while we're on the topic of hip-hop the dr dre award super tight didn't well, like i wasn't expecting that at all and before i get people like oh why do black people get their own award consider the fact that maybe blackface existed to keep black people out of entertainment so maybe we should cut them a little slice for themselves because it's like hey are bad for all of that racism <laughs> and not to mention like black people hip-hop they generally are the forefront of culture so yeah a new award totally unexpected but obviously if we're talking about anybody that's icon status that should the, the award should be named after dr dre is probably gonna be the only one you can think of so let's just go over the big winners real quick the big like five or six album of the year obviously the biggest award in music that's why it is saved for the last oh also before we move on dj khaled the whole outro the whole performance at the end jay-z rapping for like five minutes straight hard that shit was crazy all right anyway album of the year i'm glad abba didn't win because fuck them let other people shine stop making music already adele obviously is always going to be in contention she's adele un verano senti by bad bunny renaissance by beyonce solid don't think it deserves it though good morning gorgeous mary j blige traditional r&b so that's not really gonna it's a good album, but it wasn't going to get any any kind of... It was going to get a nod, but it wasn't going to win. In These Silent Days, Brandy Carlisle. Couldn't give a fuck less about Brandy Carlisle, if I'm being honest with you. It really should have been Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Lizzo was dope that she was there, and Harry's House obviously won the Grammy. Uh, I do still personally believe that Mr. Morale is better than Harry's House is. Not because I don't like pop music, but that's what Mr. Morale was. After you sit and have time with Mr. Morale and you understand what's happening in the album should have won in my opinion now record of the year this one was mad surprising to me as it was the artist who won bro about damn time by lizzo won record of the year deservedly so shit is a banger 
but I was not expecting it to win over as it was over bad habit break my soul easy on me you know like these are juggernauts and Lizzo that was a juggernaut of a track as well but you when you think of Grammy contender you don't think of Lizzo at least not when Adele Beyonce Steve Lacey's breakout and Harry Styles are in the same category the hard part five crazy track but that's something that like a rap fan is gonna be is gonna hold near and dear not necessarily all of music song of the year pfft, don't even know the fucking song or the artist i'm ju i just like completely skipped that one best pop solo performance easy on me by adele for sure i was i was going easy on me or bad habit but yeah he's adele's gonna win something you know by the way she looked gorgeous that whole red off of her skin tone fire best pop duo or group performance i do understand why unholy won it is a banger um it's very TikTok worthy you know the whole thing but performance was god awful bro who the fuck allowed that i get it i get it we're unholy so we're going to we're going to satan we're going to hell right after right after we have the performance of the people who had passed this year we go with unholy come on who curated this show by the way i'm i got choked up i got choked up during the whole performance to take off had his chain out there like singing directly to it like no one else is in the room bro that one hit me right here but yes unholy right after that looking like a cringe version of something madonna would have done sam smith out there looking like evil willy wonka head ass best pop vocal album i thought it was gonna be adele or harry styles harry house harry styles won maybe i'm just like not as big into harry's house winning because the album didn't sit with me as well as it as 30 did I get why it won. I get why Harry Styles is as famous as he is, but you know, it's hard. Anytime Adele drops, it's hard. It's hard to imagine anybody else winning a vocal performance. Best dance electronic recording, Break My Soul by Beyonce. Not bad. I I'm fine with that. Dance electronic music album, Renaissance again. Oh, by the way, Beyonce now holds the record for the amount of Grammys. Crazy. I used to be a mad big Beyonce fan. But after like Sasha Fierce, I just like, ah, that's cringe. Sasha Fierce sounds like something a 14 year old boy would look up on Pornhub. Since that day forward, I was like, nah, she gives me the ick. Just something about Beyonce's stop trying to be God type personality. I don't know what it is about Beyonce, but I understand. I respect her, obviously. Best rap performance. Yes, sir. Heart part five. I wouldn't have been mad if a God did just because Jay-Z went crazy. But the heart part five is 10 out of 10, bro. But yeah, I think those are the main ones that I wanted to talk about. But this year, I just wasn't that invested in the Grammys. I recorded it so I could skim through and get past the commercials that were like 20 minute long breaks of commercial, it seemed like. I completely skipped over the regular people like round table that they had. I don't I don't know why. I, like people were loving that. But to me, I was like pandering as fuck like i get why they did it but we have the people's choice awards we have the billboard awards like we have we have those awards where the people are more front and center not not the grammys the grammys is supposed to be the prestigious you know the all-encompassing if you made it here you made it anywhere and i don't know it just seemed like it just didn't seem genuine to me it seemed like oh we're trying to do something here for the sake of inclusion that could just be me again i didn't watch i just got that vibe from the like clip that i saw and i was like i'm fast forwarding through all these parts but yeah that's my thoughts on the Grammys. Just I.